Hey there everyone, it's Matt Barker here from Printable Scenery. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial to show you how easy it is to use the Terrain Tinker software for making open lock designs and open lock dungeons and buildings. The first thing you'll see on your left hand side of the screen is a filter system that allows you to sort easily through the thousands and thousands of open lock tiles that we will eventually be putting in here. And all you need to do is drag and drop the tiles from the left hand side onto your build plate. Another great feature we've got is the drag wall and floor tool. This allows you to drag out a wall or a floor to create multiple tiles at once. Another feature is the replace tool. Use this tool to magically replace any models that you want. Simply select the model in the side panel that you want to replace and click on the model in the editor. You also have the trash tool where you can quickly trash lots of models at once or you can press the delete key on your keyboard. Another feature is the grouping tool. Hold down control to select multiple models and then you can lock these models into a group by pressing the group box. In Terrain Tinker everything is built on open locked two inch layer floors and you can go up through these floors and down through these floors using the floor levels buttons. Once you've got a model selected, you can move models up and down through the floors with these two buttons here. And when you're ready to print, you just press print up on the top right hand corner, then choose if you want the model to be either combined or as separate open lock tiles with open lock clips. After you press render for print, it will begin rendering and this could take a couple of minutes. When your render is ready, it'll notify you in the editor and it will always remain available for you to download in the My 3D Prints window. So check out the open beta and let us know what you think. And also check out the new Kickstarter coming soon from Terrain Tinker.